Hey everyone, so I have some benchmarks between four of the best small smartphones you can buy. So I've got the iPhone 5S, the iPhone SC, uh, the Xperia Z3 Compact, and the Xperia Z5 Compact. So I've already ran an Intuitive benchmark on these. Uh, so the phone that came in last place was the Xperia Z3 Compact. I'll go ahead and show you the score on that. So you see a score of 54,137. Uh, and then scored higher than 78% of all users. And then the third place phone was the iPhone 5S. So the Z3 Compact uh, has 2 gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 801, which at the time was some of the best specs you can get on a smartphone. And then so for the iPhone 5S, you see a score of 63,109. Uh, scored better than 85% of all cell phones. Alright. And then the second place was the Xperia Z5 Compact. So this had a Snapdragon 810 processor, again with 2GB of RAM, uh, and a score of 87,000. Scored higher than 96% of all users. So pretty impressive there. And then first place by a pretty big margin, the iPhone SE, score of 124,501, better than 98% of all cell phones. So really impressive. Uh, let me bring up the ranking list for this. <clears throat> Alright, so this is just compared versus Apple products. We can see just a little bit under the 6S and the 6S Plus. And actually here's another version of the SE, so mine's actually about 8,000 lower than that. And then I'll show you the Android version also. So here's the Z5 Compact. It's actually in second place, or sorry, yeah, I guess it is in second. I thought that there was one higher than that, but maybe not. Uh, I know that the S7 Edge definitely scored better than this. I was in the 100,000, so uh, maybe I guess it's just an outdated ranking list. Yeah, you can see my other video, but uh, the LG G5 and the uh, S7 Edge scored about 120,000, 130,000, something like that. So yeah, um, I'd say pretty impressive for both of the phones. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a restart test on the 5S and the SE. First, I'm just going to power them off. Uh, and there's definitely a big difference between the two in terms of speed. So the iPhone 5S has an A7, whereas the uh, SE has an A9. And again, 1GB of RAM for the 5S, 2GB of RAM for the SE. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them both on right now. And the SE should be faster. Last time I did this, it came out faster, so we'll see the boot up test first. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, press on a bunch of the apps. So yeah, you see the SE already have it up. And the 5S still loading, just got it. Alright, so let's click on some of these now. Start with the photos. So we saw they're a little faster on the SE. Alright, then we'll bring up the camera. So they're a little faster getting out of the app on the SE. Definitely faster there again on the SE. Clock, about the same. Uh, videos. All right, we'll go to Notepad. Go to the Stocks. Again, faster on the SE. Uh, let's see. Go to click on settings. All 
So yeah, guys, you're definitely seeing faster performance with the SE. Uh, not unexpected considering it has twice as much RAM and the uh, new A9 chipset. So in terms of the Z5 Compact versus the iPhone SE, so of course both of these are pretty different uh, in terms of software. They're really not comparable. You have Android versus iOS. Uh, so pretty much all the apps on these are going to be pretty different. I guess I'll bring up the camera. All right, and then take some pictures. Saw there the SE was faster taking a picture. Again, SE definitely faster. All right. All right, I'll show you guys closing out of some of the apps now. So, of course, on there, you're going to be swiping in different directions. All right, so I'll bring up the settings. All right, you're going to try pressing at the same time. One, two, three. Do that once more. Again, I'm going to close out. I mean, both these operating systems are really fluid. Uh, I don't think there's much of a difference. Yeah, really close. And then finally, I'll just do a turn off, turn on test. All right. So it's going to power it off. All right. So it's really, the test is really about turning it on. Uh, because with the iPhone SE, there's no restart button. So I'm going to hold down on the power button at the same time. One, two, three. All right, so it looks like Apple got off to maybe a little bit quicker start. Uh, so yeah, on the Z5 Compact, they do have Marshmallow installed on this. Uh, iOS 9.3. Wow, yeah, that was a lot faster for the iPhone SE. See when the Z5 Compact loads up. Maybe I'll do another test in the future. I'll uh, download some games and stuff, apps that work on both the phones. Give you guys a better uh, look at how they compare against each other. All right, and there you go for the uh, Xperia Z5 Compact. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Uh, so yeah, I do think that especially with the iPhone SE and the Xperia Z5 Compact, uh, these are probably the best two small smartphones that you can buy today. I think they're the best two small smartphones on the market. So whether if you prefer Android, I recommend going with the Z5 Compact. If you like uh, iOS, definitely go with the SE. Uh, but yeah, can't go wrong either way. Uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. And let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or comments.